it would make like longer loops and I just need to kind of go from one pot to another would it work with just like a fade so that I can just queue so, so that some guy just knows okay now we can kind of fade yeah, over yeah, to we, the you can definitely figure out I also focused on arranging and creating the archive of my footages from my practices because most of the time I film myself during the practice and it's a collection of videos but I really would like to come back and look through those, through those videos just to remember what was what was there and what I can keep keep working on and keep developing I was a bit hesitating how can I arrange it so it's comfortable for me to always get back and easy find things that I want. So I put it in the video folders but I also tag them with different colors. So if it's a house dance, it's one color, so I just can choose this tag and if I practice or if I practice and I don't have an, a lot of time for practice and for research and I just scroll the, through those videos and more like refresh and memorize what I've been working on. It also helps me to stay connected with my journey, with my practice journey. So I divided it again on a house dance, on UK just fusion on videos that are from flow work and that are from just movement exploration. I also made a separate tag for more research-based uh, ideas that I can use for performances or I can use for teaching. I kind of uh, went too fast, but I should do a little. It, it really, uh, it's actually the same as uh, when we start the rave. Yeah. Also, the sense of actually as if we're really starting the rave again, like very slowly. And then they're like, oh, they're doing the rave, but then, oh, it's a different rave.
practice diary journey. This month has passed so fast. I didn't notice it and I also again did manage to record any videos me talking about the processes that were happening during this month. So now I have going to have a little overview of what was happening. I have to confess this month was intense with the project and also my personal state that I practiced myself like I normally do only once and it influenced a lot my state that's for sure the first half of the month I was busy with rehearsing and premiering with the work by Simon Bass I love this work a lot and also the process, but I, I was very challenged by myself. The process, process was very open and free, so I could really put myself there, my movement and my, my way of doing things. But it's very hard to do when you feel very low, uh, low in a way of self-perception, inspiration, energy and I guess November it's a month for a lot of people <laughs> on that low mod but I normally m try to manage myself somehow but then there are those deep moments deep I mean low moments when you just cannot handle yourself so that was part of my process also during the rehearsals I was trying to put myself together, connect, give and share, but then I also felt very empty. And uh, part of this was my family situation. And it's always, I guess, people experience it that way when things happen outside of your own power and especially when it happens inside of your family. It influences a lot your creative process. And I noticed that it influenced a lot my self-perception -percep and, and the way I believe in myself. So I started to question a lot of things and I started to question my possibilities of getting somewhere somewhere, I don't know where, but getting somewhere. But I, I took time to self-reflect on it. And um, thankfully, I caught myself on this connection and tried to work with that. So I guess I did a good job in the way I was processing everything. But it took some time, you know, it took also a couple of weeks from my mood, from my energy to figure it out. But that's, I mean, that's the thing. Some months goes really well, some, some months or weeks goes really low. And I was trying to be gentle with myself in this case and, let, and gave myself time and space to process it. But at this, on the other hand, I felt I felt a demand to to give because of those rehearsals and performances. But I mean, it went well. It all went well thanks to people surrounded me, and uh, in general, it's not that bad. So everything's good, and uh, I'm moving on. And another thing that I noticed why I'm losing the grip on myself is that it was already second month that I didn't have a chance to immerse myself in in practice in a practice in Alan. It actually helped me so much and by not having it enough I realized that how it influenced my my creative journey and I really need the time with myself in a room practicing and doing doing the routine of things that I'm I'm busy with and how I connect with my, like reconnecting with my journey, research. 
And if I don't have it, and if I'm always into the, in the projects with other people where I have to give and take and respond and be responsible, I'm, yeah, I'm losing the, the core of myself in a creative way and also in general. So that, that insight came to me during this month also. There is a thing with the, it's hard to find a room right now to practice and for now we decided not to rent um, a room for, for ourselves because it's a, it's a bit expensive, we didn't find affordable one. And uh, yeah, so different kind of uh, circumstances and also like in general like low energy uh, left me like if I would have some time I just wouldn't have opportunity or energy to practice myself and then in the end of the month you know I managed to practice only once besides the fact that eh, I've been dancing a lot yeah but I, I've, I was not with myself so that's something that I'm gonna try to fix it I won't be able to fix it in December because there is still a lot. I'm gonna to travel to Spain for two, almost three weeks, and I will be back towards the Christmas holidays. And in that period, I will try to find a place to get back to my own routine, to finish the year in re re reconnecting with myself. But during this month, I was still trying to do at least yoga classes so I would go to the uh, yoga studio here in Eindhoven and also just do the regular warm-up with some yoga patterns before rehearsals or after rehearsals that already helps a lot also during this month uh, beside the project with Simon I been researching with the musician based project research on the, on the texture of the sound the movement and physicality of sound and musicality of the movement and uh, there, it's something that we want to develop actually next year for now we just try different kind of ways of connecting and I'm I'm excited <laughs> Still, I give myself time to figure out where this project can go, but some ideas come up and those ideas inspire me, even so I'm not sure, of course, yeah, if it's gonna work or if it's worth it or not, but I try to just stay with this feeling of, of okay, if, it's, if it inspires me, then I write it down and I try to make it happen without over judgment if it's Worse it. And also during this month and the previous months me and my good friend Marina, we started to rehearse for, um, for a performance that we are about to do in December. And this performance uh, is based on a short version of it that we've been already uh, 
we've been presenting and doing it in previous years, but we got a chance to actually have a um, theater evening and do make a longer version of it. And then we started doing it online. So during these two months, we, we would rehearse online. And it was also my first experience of rehearsing online. I was okay, quite productive, but on a very like basic level, you could at least discuss and try some simple things, some starting points to be able to meet together afterwards and have already some language to communicate with. So that was my that was my November. It's already I wanted to say October, but it was already November. And uh, yeah, I'm really glad I'm continuing with this practice diary, even though goes a bit beyond of my plans but it's a good check up on where I am and what I'm feeling about my process so let's see what the next month will bring me and what's gonna happen and what kind of thoughts and insights I'm gonna share